In this video, we will look at multicast over a Cisco SD-WAN. Cisco SD-WAN supports both any source multicast as well as source specific multicast. Cisco SD-WAN uses the concept of replicators to deliver multicast traffic efficiently across the fabric. Replicators are basically SD-WAN edge devices, typically at a hub or DC with high bandwidth links. They receive multicast tra traffic streams from source and perform multicast replication to other edge nodes in the fabric that have receivers subscribed to the stream. Attached is the topology we will use for this demo. We have a source, which is basically a router, generating multicast streams and connected to the RP, which in turn is connected to the SD-WAN head end device. The SD-WAN edge devices can be configured for static RP or use auto RP. In this demo, we will define the RP statically on these devices. Though the demo topology shows the RP as a separate device, the SD-WAN head, head end device can, could also be configured as the RP. The source will be generating two different multicast streams. Receivers at branch 1 and 3 will be subscribing to both the multicast streams while branch 2 receiver only subscribes to one stream. The data center SD-WAN device will perform the role of multicast replicator. With that, let's begin. Let's go to templates. Here, I already have two templates, one template for the data center device and one more template attached to the edge devices. Let's create our multicast templates. Let's first create our multicast template for the head end device. Let's give it a name. And this device needs to act as replicator. So we'll switch the local as on and we'll provide a replication threshold of 500. Let's save. Let's create another multicast template for our branch devices. The branch uh, device does not need to act as a replicator, so I'll just turn it off and replication threshold also I'll turn it off. Let's save. Let's go ahead and create our PIM template. Let's give it a name. Now, since we wanted to define the RP statically, let's go ahead and define it. In this demo, the RP is 192.168.100.100. And there is an RP ACL, which I have already defined for the group. Let's add our interface. Let's add our server side interface. Let's save. Oh, I missed. Okay, let's change the threshold to zero so that it changes immediately. Let's create our IGMP template. Let's add our interfaces. So these are the service side interfaces. Let's save. Let's go to our device template. Let's go to our DC template. Let's add the feature templates we just defined. Let's add our multicast template. Let's add our PIM template. 
uh, that's enough for the hidden device. Let's save. Click update. Let's quickly check our configuration. That's the replicator configuration. And that's our RP configuration. That's done. Let's go to our templates again and add our feature templates to our branch devices. Let's add the multicast template. Let's add our PIM template. And also add our IGMP template. Save. Update. Let's click next. Let's quickly check our config. So that's the multicast configuration and that's our RP configuration. So config's done. So let me go to my receivers and then do a IGMP join to simulate the multicast joins to the groups. So this is our receiver at the first edge. The first group will be one, 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 one. The second group will be one, two, three. Let's go towards receiver at the second edge. And here we'll configure it to join only one group. Let's go to our third receiver. And here I'll configure it to join both the groups. So let me connect to the source and generate this multicast streams. And there you see 232.1.1 was subscribed by all the three receivers and I'm getting a reply from all the three receivers. Let's also generate traffic for the second group. And here you can see that the second group is only working between receiver 1 and 3 because the receiver 2 is not subscribed to this group. Thus, you can see Cisco SD-WAN allows you to seamlessly transport multicast as well as unicast traffic over the secured fabric overlay. That's it for this demo and thanks for watching.